G'day guys, I'm here to talk to you about the new scale tool that we've just put out for free for you to use. Okay, so what it does, it allows you to scale individual items. So uh, if I went and say imported a plan, so I'm just going to go and file import, I'm just going to import, it's just a JPEG image of a plan that's not to scale. Okay, now I've just simply dragged it out there, but I need to know that I can scale this plan without actually scaling anything else in the model, so it's an individual scaler. Okay, so what I need to do is at first I need to select it, so spacebar and click on whatever it is you want to scale, and then go to the tool. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in to the end of a dimension line. I'm going to be pretty accurate here because I'm going to get in here and it says 15,000 millimeters, and if it's feet and inches, write in feet and inches, and push enter. Now I have a scaled plan, so I can actually, if I want to double check that, I can simply write in here. Uh, from the center here to 15,000 and enter and I now have a scale line there and if I want to check it on the other axes I could go over to here and do the same thing so zoom in and I go zoom out here and I've got 7,160 and I have a plan that scaled in two directions so it's a big help the best thing about it is it didn't affect the rest of my geometry so for instance if I went over here and I double click this little cube that I've drawn up there before and I said well I want this cube to be 8 feet or 2000 uh, I'll go 2500 enter it scaled it in three directions okay and it left the rest of my geometry or images alone which saves a lot of time now we've also got another really cool tool in here as well which will give you access to some good quality models okay so what it's done is taken me to a library and all of these um, products are really low poly but high enough in definition so for instance if I if I wanted to get this fan here first thing I need to do is sign in I've signed in I'm Andrew and now I can actually go from here and I can drag and drop directly into my SketchUp model so I'll just minimize that so we can see it and you'll notice I have a fan you can also go and download so it depends on what browser you're using and I'm pretty sure on Mac that doesn't work so you would need to go back there and you would actually click download so if I download something else there's thousands of models here guys um, uh, so you want to shower screen and I can go and download it here instead of dragging and dropping I downloaded it in Chrome you can drop, drag and drop straight from Chrome uh, if you need to find out where your download location is and you can drag and drop into SketchUp very quickly. You'll also notice that we've got a little bomb tool here. Now you might not be sure what that means. If I click the bomb tool now it will explode this model and this model so you can read the information but what I'm going to do is show you what that means. Okay so here I've got a dynamic component option box. Now I'm using Pro so I've got the opportunity to to do attributes but you can use this in free as well. If I click it now you'll notice that it's come up with a container if I click this bomb tool here and I get out of here and I go and do it again you'll notice that it comes up with information about this particular model now I can change the height of this particular shower I can change the width uh, so I can change it to a 900 by 900 or 3 feet by 3 feet shower so some really powerful dynamic components inside of there and the same thing once I click the bomb tool it will also change the other uh, tools that I did as well. Okay, so you notice I've got a, a fan in there and the best thing about these is they're really going to make your model size smaller but be high enough in resolution to be able to use it for rendering if you choose. Look, I hope it helps you out guys. Uh, it's, a, it's a cool tool. Alright, cheers.